Bayraktar Kizilelma Mios project developed by Bayraktar, a Turkish company, it covers the production of domestic and national unmanned warplanes. The first conceptual studies of Bayraktar Kızilelma, which is perhaps the most popular UAV project of recent times, started in 2013. The most important developments regarding the project took place on 20 July 2021. On this date, the first conceptual design image of Bayraktar Muse and official information about the characteristics of the aircraft were announced to the public. The most important of this explanation is that the body of Kızılelma is designed following stealth technology. So, what is this stealth technology? Stealth, namely low observable technology, is a sub-discipline of military tactics and passive and active electronic countermeasures encompassing some methods. Satellites and ground vehicles are less visible or invisible to radar, infrared, sonar and other detection methods, so the aircraft is expected to have a low radar signature. Thanks to the vertical tails and the horizontal control surface canards in the front, Kizilelma's high maneuverability is aimed. Another important issue is that Kizilelma can land and take off from short runway aircraft carriers and LHD ships, so its hull is resident to water corrosion. The wing structure is special designed so that landing and take off on the ship can be made without the need for a catapult. The project name was Muse Combat Unmanned Aircraft System. At first and then it was shared with the public that it was decided that the official name would be Kizilelma on March 12, 2022. Engineer selection ALE 322F turbofan engineer supply agreement and ALE 25TLT turbofan engineer integration agreement were signed between Baikar and Ukrainian Ivanko Progress at the Saha Expo event on November 11, 2021. It is planned to develop variants of Kizilelma using different turbofan engineers. Kizilelma A will fly at subsonic speeds. Kizilelma B will fly at speeds close to the speed of sound transonic. And Kizilelma C will fly at speeds above the speed of sound supersonic. Since there are only posts about Kizilelma A at the moment, we will talk to you about this version. It completed its first flight on 14 December 2022. Design and development studies are continuing. Design and development studies are continuing. It will be put into service within the Turkish Armed Force between 2023 and 2024. If we make a chronological order, the development of the project is as follows. On September 19, 2022, the first engineer integration test was completed. On November 20, 2022, automatic taxi and fast running tests were carried out. On December 3, 2022, a critical step was achieved in the cut-off test by slightly rising the aircraft from the ground. On December 14, 2022, Kizilelma made its maiden flight. Bayraktar Kizilelma completed the system identification flight station flight on January 23, 2023. Its technical features are as follows. It's 14.7 meters long, 3.3 meters high, and has a wingspan of 10 meters. Close. There will be no crab, so it will be minimally affected by both internal and external factors. The maximum takeoff weight is 6000 kg and the payload capacity is 1500 kg. 
One Emanco Progress AL25 TLT without afterburner, it uses a turbofan engineer and without the afterburner, its propulsion is 1 times 1720 kg force and 16.9 kN. Its performance is as allows, cruising speed max 0 0.6 to 735 km, maximum speed max 0 0.9 to 1100 km per hour, combat radius 500 nautical miles, operational altitude 35,000 feet, maximum altitude 45,000 feet. Air time 5 hours. Avionics Line of sight and Bayant line of sight communication with ASA radar. Weapon systems, weapon stations, Kizilelma will have the ability to carry ammunition in the hull. It is also estimated that there will be at least three ammunition stations under each wing. Can use missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, Bozdoğan, Gökdoğan, air-to-surface missiles, Cirit, Tübitaksej, Bozok, Som. Can use bombs, Taber 81, Mark 81 bomb with rockets and laser guidance kit, HGK 82, Mark 82 bomb with Tübitaksej precision guidance kit, KGK 82. Mark 82 bomb with Tupitax H wing assisted guidance kit, Taber 82, Mark 82 bomb with rocket and laser guidance kit, HGK 83, Mark 83 bomb with Tupitax H position guidance kit, KGK 83, Mark 83 bomb with Tupitax H winged guidance kit, HGK 84. Mark 84 bomb with Tubitax H precision guidance kit LHGK 84 Mark 84 bomb Tubitax H laser sensitive guidance kit Tubitax H Togan 481mm mortar racks without GPS or inguided Tubitax H Kuzgun SS glider bomb Aselsan miniature bomb Sarp 83 Bunker de de Detonator NEP 84 Bunker Crusher Tupitax H Bozok Smart Micro Emanation MAM C MAM L MAM T So what good will this Bayraktar Kizilelma do? Unmanned aircraft systems are a current air doctrine debate all over the world. In February 2020, the U.S. Air Force held a conference in Florida focusing on this issue. Experts working in the field of aviation, artificial intelligence, and automation were also invited to the conference as speakers. Speaking at this conference, Elon Musk stated that the F-35 and similar fifth gener generation mainnet warplanes will have no change against UAVs in the future and that the future consists of unmanned aerial vessels. Before 2040, at least 50% of the US strike air fleets are expected to consist of UAVs. But another reason why Turkey is trying to protect this Kizilelma is that the Turkish Air Force is getting old and worn out due to the embargoes, so Turkey has urgently turned to the defense industry. Well, what are your thoughts? Do not forget to indicate in the comments. Take care of yourselves.